Hello students, welcome to the GCC online class. Previous class, what we have discussed is the empty parallel plate capacitor. That means the space between the two plates, parallel plate is empty or filled with air. Today, we are going to discuss about the effect of dielectric in capacitors. What happens when the dielectric is inserted in between the two plates? Point number one. The next we are going to discuss about the capacitors which are connected in series and parallel. The last one is applications of the capacitors. Now let us see the first one. The effect of dielectrics in capacitors. When the dielectric is in, what is dielectric? Say example, the dielectric example is glass or mica. Say the glass or mica is inserted in between the plates. Uh, what is the value of, whether the value of C increases or decreases? What is its energy? All these things we are going to uh, discuss. Okay. It, there are two ways of inserting the dielectrics. One is battery battery is disconnected battery disconnected second one battery connected these are the two ways first let us uh, discuss about the battery disconnected now let us consider the parallel plates this is the parallel plates let us a be the area of the plates. The distance between the two plates, let us assume D is the distance between the two plates. Between them. Now, the capacitance is, the capacitance of the parallel plate is Q0 by V0. What is Q0 charge? Let us assume the uh, capacitor is connected across this battery of voltage V. This is positive, this is negative. So, the charges from the battery will come, come over here and it is accumulated. Let it be Q0. The potential across the plate is V0. This is the formula for the capacitance. Now, after the charging, after the charge, so let us assume the battery is disconnected. When the battery is disconnected and the dielectric slab is interposed. Due to the polarization, what happens is the in between the dielectric, say this is an electric field, this charge, this plate assumes a positive charge, negative charge, the electric field is there. When we interpose the dielectric, the electric field starts decreasing. The electric field E is, we can say E naught by epsilon r. What is epsilon r? Epsilon r is nothing but the relative permittivity. Epsilon r, relative permittivity. So, only for the air, for air, the relative permittivity value is for air, epsilon r value is 1. For other dielectric material, that is glass or mica, epsilon r value is greater than 1. Okay, so electric field decreases. If the electric field is decreasing, so immediately the potential also decreases. What is the formula for potential? So potential formula is V equal to E times D. This is the formula. Potential equal to electric field into distance. You substitute uh, this uh, formula here. So V equal to E naught D by epsilon R. That is equal to V naught by epsilon R I can. How V naught? E naught is the original one. So E naught, electric field in distance is nothing but V naught. So V equal to V naught by. 
So, what is the new capacitance? The new capacitance C equal to charge is constant, potential is varying. So, the formula is the original charge is Q naught by V. So, C equal to Q naught by S. What is the formula for V? V naught by epsilon naught. V naught by, by epsilon R. This epsilon R will go to the numerator. So, what is this Q naught by V naught? Q naught by V naught is nothing but the C naught, original uh, value of capacitance when the dielectric is not interposed. So, this can be written as C naught into epsilon naught. See here. The new capacitance, after the introduction of this uh, dielectric, the new capacitance formula is the epsilon r times C naught. So, since epsilon r value is always for dielectric, this is for dielectric, is greater than 1, so the value of C increases. Now, this is the table. So, dielectric insertion, the first point is when the battery is disconnected, when the battery is first connected, then disconnected, what happens is charge remains, charge remains the same same charges. What about the electric field? Sir, electric field decreases. Since the electric field is decreasing, so potential also what? Decreases. So, potential decreases. As per this formula, the capacitance value increases. Increase. Next, what, what is the last one? Energy we have to discuss. Uh, now, let us uh, consider before the insertion, what is the energy? What is the formula for energy? The previous class we have seen, there are two formulae. C equal to, the formula for C is, I mean energy is, energy is uh, denoted by the symbol 1 by 2, Q naught square by C. There is another formula 1 by 2 CV square. Since C, uh, the charge remains constant, only C is varying. You have to take this formula. Now, this is the initial energy. After the introduction, sorry, uh, C naught, initial energy, after the introduction of di dielectric 1 by 2, Q naught square by C. This is before insertion of dielectric. After insertion of dielectric, the C values changes. So, here you have to mention C. Now, you substitute this 1 by 2 Q naught square by epsilon naught C naught. Now, you combine this. So, U equal to U naught by epsilon naught. What is U? U is the energy after the insertion of dielectric. What is U naught? The before insertion of uh, dielectric, the energy. So, that energy divided by epsilon naught. See, epsilon naught value is always greater than 1. Since uh, this value is uh, more, greater than 1, automatically we can say energy decreases. So, in this case, the energy is decreasing or decreases. So, these are the conclusions. So, when the battery is first connected and disconnected, so after the removal, charge remains same. Then, what about the electric field? So, because of the insertion of dielectric, electric field decreases. If the electric field decreases, potential also decreases. Then we have seen the capacitance value. Capacitance value is increasing as per this. Then the last one is energy. Energy value uh, decreases. This is the case. And now the second case. When the battery is always connected and the dielectric is introduced. We are going to discuss. So this is a plate. Battery is connected always. 
the dielectric uh, of relative permittivity epsilon r is inserted. What happens is, say, since the battery is always in connection, we can say V naught same. The same potential is maintained between the two plates. Okay, then what is changing? The charges accumulated here is going on increasing because of the insertion. So, what, what is the charge now? Q is the charge. Q naught is the original charge. So, Q equal to epsilon r time. After the introduction of dielectric, epsilon r times Q naught. So, charges is increased. So, what is the formula for C? Ordinary case, for the ordinary case, C naught equal to Q naught by V naught. In this case, since the charge is changing, the new capacitance C is Q by V naught. Now you substitute Q. Instead of Q, what you can write? Epsilon R Q naught. So, Epsilon R Q naught by V naught. What is this Q naught by V naught? Q naught by V naught is nothing but C naught. Q naught by V naught is nothing but the empty plates, parallel plates. So, C equal to, what is C? Capacitance with dielectric equal to capacitance without dielectric multiplied by relative permittivity. For dielectrics, relative permittivity always greater than 1. So, immediately we can say the capacitance value increases. Now, we can fill this tabular column. Say, when the capacitance, when the capacitance uh, is, uh, when the battery, when the battery is connected, charge increases. Then, what about V? Same. V, same. That means, electric field is also same. Now, what is the value of C? C value is increasing. In the second case also, C value increases. Okay. Then, what is next? Energy. We have to discuss about the energy. Before the installation of uh, dielectric, what is the energy formula? U naught equal to of C V naught, C naught, V naught square. Sir, uh, first case, in the case number one, we have used what? 1 by 2 Q square by or Q naught square by <coughs> C we have used. Q naught square by C used for now. Why we, have, we are not using that? We are taking the second format. Say, in this case, Q is also varying, C is also varying. So, you should not uh, use this uh, uh, formula. You have to use, you have to take this formula u naught equal to 1 by 2 c naught v naught square. Then after the introduction of this dielectric, what is the formula? Let us take the energy is new energy is u 1 by 2 c v naught square. C is the new capacitance. Substitute this c value here. So what is c value? Epsilon 0 epsilon r. So epsilon uh, sorry uh, c naught epsilon r. C naught epsilon r v naught square. So you combine this. 1 by 2 C naught V naught square is nothing but U naught. So, the formula, this formula becomes, the new energy becomes epsilon R times the original energy or before insertion energy. Now, we can fill this, the energy increases. So, in the first case, energy decreases. In epsilon R times the original energy, energy increases. So, these are the conclusions before when the battery is disconnected that is the answer uh, connected when it is always connected the uh, capacitance increases energy also increases. Uh, dielectric introduced panna on the capacitance value and uh, energy and ago no pato. Next day ippa paka pura the capacitors when the capacitors are connected in the series, what is the new value? Capacitors are parallel connect. We are going to discuss. 
let us consider first a series connection. What is the meaning of series connection? Series connection, uh, the, uh, take three capacitors, you have to join the, the first capacitor is C1. The plate, this plate is connected to the second capacitor plate. The other plate of the capacitor C2 is connected to the third capacitor. Then the first capacitor free and the second, uh, I mean third capacitor free H is connected across a battery. If you are connecting like this, it is called what connection? Series connection. What is parallel connection? The parallel connection is, the uh, it should be like this. The three capacitors are taken. The three capacitors, the each the corresponding plates, say all the top plates are connected to the battery positive terminal, the second plate or the bottom plate is connected to the uh, negative terminal. If the each and every capacitor is in direct link with the battery, you can say it is in parallel connection. Say so this is series. Now let us say about the series connection. Say when it is connected like this, series connection, what happens is the negative charges from the battery, this negative terminal of the battery will flow, then it will accumulate some amount of charge, say minus Q amount of charge, minus charge, Q amount of charge is uh, moving towards this plate. This will cause the same amount of electrons to ripple, making this plate positive same amount of positive charges is created or induced, then the negative charges will be coming here. This plate will cause the same amount of uh, charges will move out of this plate, so it becomes the positive. Those negative charges will come here. This will cause the same amount of uh, electrons or charges to move out of this place, making this plate positive. The, uh, finally, the same amount of electrons will reach the positive terminal. This is it. So, in this case, same charges are uh, produced or accumulated in each and every capacitor. Now, you can say, say Q remains the same. Q is same. Since the value of capacitance is different, immediately we can say the voltage across each and every capacitance is also differs. So, let V1 is the voltage across C1, V2 is the voltage across C2, V3 is the voltage across C3. So, what is the equation? So, V differs. This is In the case of series connection, so charge on the each capacitor remains same, the potential differs. So, now you can, if you add all the voltage, it will be equal to the total potential of the battery. So, the equation is V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3, that's all. What is the formula for C? So, C equal to Q by V. This implies V equal to Q by C. So, what is V1? V1 is Q by C1. What is V2? Q by C2. What is V3? Q by C3. Substitute here. So, Q by C1. Why the same symbol is used? Because charge remains constant. Q by C1 plus instead of V2, Q by C2 plus Q by C3. See, left hand side, V. This also you can change in terms of Q and V. So, what is the formula? So, uh, V equal to Q by C, Q by, mm, Q by C, yes, C, yes, yes for series connection. See, since Q is common, you can cancel out. So, what is the formula? 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C. So, this is the formula. What is the meaning? The effective capacitance, reciprocal of the effective capacitance is equal to sum of the reciprocal of the individual capacitance. Okay, since we are taking the reciprocal, the value will decrease. So, in the case of series connection, the value will be decreasing. 
say the value will be least than the minimum value the least than the minimum value that is the conclusion here so c decreases or c s decreases here this is the conclusion okay this is in the case of series connection now let us see about this parallel connection say take the three capacitors c1 c2 c3 are the three capacitors so each and every plate is in direct link with the battery so the voltage is v since each every capacitor all the capacitors are in direct link v same here the potential across each and every capacitor remains the same okay well see depending upon the capacitance value the charges accumulated will differ so q differs just opposite in this case q same v differs in this case v same q differs but if you according to the law of conservation of charges law of conservation of charges the total charge q equal to the total charge q equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 so this is the total charge of the battery is equal to the combination of all the charges across the capacitor so once again what is the formula sir c equal to q by v sir this implies q equal to cv so what is q1 sir q1 equal to c1 v q2 equal to c2 v q3 equal to c3 v substitute so if you substitute here so c1 v plus c2 v plus c3 v because v remains constant what is uh, in the left hand side q q is nothing but cv if you want we can mention cp p for parallel connection so which will be cancelling out v v is common isn't it so we can cancel out cp equal to c1 plus here direct addition so the effective capacitance in the case of parallel connection it is the summation of all the if you add all the capacitance value the total value increases so cp increases so in this case the cs value decreases here because we are taking the reciprocal cp value when it is connected in parallel the value gets increased now let us see about the very simple problem regarding the combinations of capacitor ipo da paathom series ku enna in the case of when the capacitors are connected in series what is the formula 1 by cs equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 in the case of parallel cp equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so here is the diagram so padatha paatha odane bayandara kudadu konjam and enna kuduthirukku abingiradhu you have to observe it okay va so oru periya diagram kuduthirukku enna what is the question is the find the effective capacitance between the terminal p and q the picture is given see all our capacitors so 4 microfarad 1 microfarad 3 microfarad see you have to use the formula you have to combine the all the capacitance into a single capacitance so for that you have to apply this concept series as well as parallel now observe see this diagram modalla eduthu odane idu idu parallel appadi illa paarka kudadu modalla or closed circuit la irukiradhu konja konjama simplify pannittu varanum inge paarkum bodhu indu closed one in the closed la rendu capacitance they are in parallel so apply the parallel combination adhu da inga eludhi vechirken 1 microfarad 1 microfarad this is 3 microfarad or in parallel what is the formula cp equal to c1 plus c2 direct addition so 1 plus 3 equal to 4 microfarad okay then here is another closed circuit say 6 microfarad and 2 microfarad they are also in the parallel combination 
because corresponding plates are connected directly. So the 6 microfarad and 2 microfarad are in parallel. So what is the formula? Cp equal to the same C1 plus C2 that is 2 plus 6, 8 microfarad. Now this formula is simplified now like this. Same 4 microfarad I have drawn here. Say instead of this combination, say 4 microfarad. In the combination, 8 microfarad, 8 microfarad, in the in capacitance, already in 8 microfarad. So, in the, in the circuit, it is simply by IH. Now, add the combination. This is not parallel. This is the closed edge. This is parallel. This is series combination. Similarly, this is also in series combination. Now, series combination, 4 microfarad and 4 microfarad are in the series combination. What is the formula for series connection? 1 by Cs equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1. 3 capacitance are in the formula. 2 capacitance are 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is what? 1 by 2. See, you are careful. You can apply 1 by 2. 1 by Cs value is 1 by 2. So, take reciprocal. That means Cs equal to. Say, in the case of parallel connection, in the Prachanical Varad, because direct addition, here reciprocal addition, 1 by 2 you should not take. So, take the reciprocal. Cs equal to 2 microfarad. Then, come to this combination. This is also in series connection. 8 microfarad, 8 microfarad are in series. So, same formula 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8. So, LCM 8, so 2 by 8, that is nothing but 1 by 4. So, 1 by CS is 1 by 4. So, what is CS here? So, 4 microfarad. Say, if in the diagram, you simplify it, no simplify it. What is simplify it? Either end capacitance, one capacitance is like this, 2 microfarad. Either end the thing, one is 4 microfarad. Now, end capacitance, how do you do it? They are in the parallel because the corresponding plates are directly connected. It is nothing but the parallel connection. Parallel connection is the formula. Direct addition Cp equal to C1 plus C2. 2 plus 4, 6. So, final answer is this. Between P and Q, the value is 6 microfarad. So, if you have a circuit, simply paper number. Purume aha parkum. Okay. The next, the third topic applications of capacitors. In the case, we are living in the Electronics world. Uh, electronics world is not only electronic equipment, so all the time, pain body to put it, pain body to put it, then what do you know? Capacitors different are there. That is not only I have told you, but in our book they have given only the four points. That is what we should know. Now we go on to the first one, capacitor. Say what is capacitor? That you know, it is the device to store the charges as well as stores the energy. Okay, but. The first application of capacitor is, it is used in the digital camera. The digital, the flashlight energy supply, the capacitors use. This is point number one, first application. The second one, cardiac arrest. For heart function, uh, enormous amount of energy should, should be supplied. That is called, uh, it is done by the device called uh, the heart defibrillator. The chest level press panel model, that is called the use panel. It is a capacitor. So, what is the voltage? So, high energy could be 2000 volts. The 1 into 175 microfarad. 175 microfarads. So, the hot fibrillator, which is just like it supplies the enormous uh, amount of uh, energy. Anga use aga de. Then it is used in the power supplies, voltage fluctuations lai erike. Ande adathala the capacitor is used. Then yendan de adathala la see what I have written is eta. Le eta abdi na orna na jamba thorna efficiency. Efficiency increase pandra dekhe and the power supply fluctuations are controlled pandra dekhe power supplies la capacitors is used. Then the automobiles it is used. Pate uh, na the energy supplied without uh, causing the sparking varama rikkaradukhe adala automobiles la use aadhe. 
டீசலில் தான் அட்வான்டேஜ் போர் அட்வான்டேஜ் நிறைய இருக்குது போர் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் இட்ஸ் அனப் தென் என்ன டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் ஒரு சின்னது தான் சுவிட்ச் ஆஃப் பண்ணிட்ட பிறகு கூட பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அந்த கொஞ்சம் சார்ஜஸ் வந்து உடனே டை அவுட் ஆகாது சார்ஜஸ் வில் ரிமைன் எனர்ஜி வில் ரிமைன் கொஞ்சம் நேரத்துக்கு அதை ரீட்டெயின் பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்கோம் கம்ப்ளீட்டாக வேனிஷ் ஆகாது இட் ஈஸ் த வன்லி ஸோ சுவிட்ச் ஆஃப் பண்ணிட்ட பிறகு கூட கொஞ்சம் நேரத்துக்கு அந்த டாட்ஸ் வந்து தெரியும் இல்லை சவுண்டு எல் பி கிட்டிங் தட் இஸ் த ஸ்மால் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ப்ரிஸ் ஸோ in this today's class we have discussed the very important topic so dielectric paathukonga dielectric then the capacitors connected in series and parallel so definitely the problem they may ask the problem using this the formula nalla 1 by cs equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 cp equal to c1 plus c2 okay applications of capacitor four applications two marks okay students okay i'll see in the next class see